Hey guys, Dayton Tenerife here. Welcome to my presentation of the constellation Aquila. Aquila is a summer constellation, meaning it is easiest to detect in the summer months. This would make warm summer nights optimal settings for viewing this constellation. As an example, I chose the date of June 5th to view Aquila. This puts it close enough to the horizon to easily calibrate one's bearings, while also putting it high enough in the sky to prevent obstruction from structures on the ground. So, in early summer, at around 12 a.m., look between the southeastern and eastern cardinal points on the horizon to find Sagittarius, circled here in yellow. If you look eastward, you'll find a hook. This hook signifies the head of Aquila. It is easiest to picture Aquila as facing to your left, with its right and left wings outstretched. Another indicator of finding Aquila is locating some of its more prominent stars. Altair, or Alpha Aquilae, is a main sequence star, or a hydrogen-fusing dwarf that is 16.8 light years away with an A7V spectral type, 10.6 luminosity, and a magnitude of 0.77, making it the brightest star in Aquila, and the 12th brightest star in the sky. The second brightest star in Aquila is Terezet, or Gamma Aquilae. It is the second most distant star in Aquila at about 461 light years with a magnitude of 2.72. Next is Deneb El Okab, also known as Epsilon Aquilae, which lies 154 light years away and has a magnitude of 4.02. It is often referred to as Deneb El Okab Borealis because of its proximity to Zeta Aquilae, which is also called Deneb El Okab. Zeta Aquilae is 83.2 light years distant and has a magnitude of 2.99. Zeta Aquilae is also known as Deneb El Okab Australis to differentiate it from Epsilon Aquilae. Finally, there's Eta Aquilae, or Bezek. Bezek is a yellow-white supergiant 1,200 light years away from the Earth, with a magnitude that varies between 3.55 and 4.44. Aquila has some fascinating deep space objects within its constellation. NGC 6781 is a planetary nebula visually similar to the Owl Nebula in the constellation Ursa Major. NGC 6741, or the Phantom Streak Nebula, is another planetary nebula within Aquila that lies 7,000 light years away and has a magnitude of 11. Though it is classified as a planetary nebula, no planets are responsible for its formation, and it is merely resembling the outer gas giants in our solar system when it was first discovered. NGC 6751, also known as the Glowing Eye, is another planetary nebula roughly 6,500 light years from the Earth with a magnitude of 11.9. Finally, we come to the mythology of Aquila. There are many myths surrounding Aquila, primarily from Greece and Italy. Aquila is representative of an eagle, the thunderbird of the Greeks, and the sacred bird of Zeus, or Jupiter to the Romans. The eagle was responsible for carrying and retrieving the massive thunderbolts hurled by Zeus. One prominent myth is that Aquila is the eagle that stole away Ganymede, son of Tros, to be the cupbearer of the gods. Whether or not the bird was Zeus in disguise, or merely sent by Zeus, is up to interpretation. The eagle was also the form taken by Aphrodite to help trick the goddess Nemesis into falling for Zeus, who had taken the form of a swan and feigned a chase with Aphrodite. Nemesis gave refuge to the swan and found herself in the embrace of Zeus. In memory of this trick, Zeus put the swan and the eagle in the sky as Cygnus and Aquila respectively. However, Aquila is also represented in Chinese mythology, albeit very differently. In China, Altair represents a cowherd who is flanked by his two sons. Altair is separated from his wife, the weaving girl represented by the star Vega by the Milky Way. The two are allowed to reunite once a year when magpies form a bridge for them over the Milky Way. Here are the works cited, and before you go, I've got a few questions. First, what is the name of the brightest star in Aquila? Second, what do Epsilon Aquilae and Zeta Aquilae have in common? Third, what celestial body separated Altair from Vega in the Chinese myth? Anyway, I hope I was able to efficiently and effectively educate you on Aquila, and I hope you were able to enjoy the presentation as well. Feel free to email me your answers at dtenerife at midmish.edu. And as always, thanks for watching.